chess friends, today we are going to see an absolutely brilliant chess game by the artificial intelligence Alpha Zero. Magnus played an odd game with Alpha Zero, I mean, Alpha sacks his bishop in the move number 2, for nothing, it was a truly amazing chess game, so let's go. Alpha Zero started with e4, we have g6, Magnus wants to play King's Indian setup, because I taught him that in King's Indian setup, you can block and prevent any big attacks of your opponent. Here Alpha Zero disrespects my opening strategy by playing bishop to a6, well it's not a brilliant move, don't try this at home without consulting an expert, Magnus captured the bishop, Alpha played d4, we have d5, e5 by Alpha, Magnus strikes the center with c4, try to get more space and open files, knight comes here to f3, we have bishop to g4, Magnus wants to play e6, bishop here, knight here to go there, castle on his next move orders, ok knight b goes to d2, e6, h3 by alpha. Magnus takes the knight because the more pieces you trade the more you get advantages, we have knight takes bishop, pawn takes, takes, queen takes d4, knight goes to e7, he can play knight f5, or c6, rook to c8, ok castle, knight goes to c6, queen back to e3, bishop g7, c3, Magnus played castle, queen backs, queen c7, three of these pieces targeting on this pawn, so bishop to f4, knight back to b8, he want to play knight here to add pressure on this pawn, rook e1, knight goes to d7, alpha can play g3, h4, king g2. Push the h pawn to open up the h line, takes, rook here, knight g5, to target this, queen here to attack the kingside potentially, ok, alpha is a stockfish subscriber, so he played g3, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel, then you can like and subscribe to my channel to get more videos, magnus played h6, h4, rook goes to d8, king up to g2, magnus improved with a5, queen to e3, queen and bishop battery targeting on this pawn, so, king to h7, magnus can play rook h8, b6, knight c5. Try to open the position with d4, ok, alpha played h5, but you cannot take the pawn, let me show you why. The more you ask questions, the more you become smart, if pawn takes pawn happen, then rook to h1, let me just simplify the position, bishop takes pawn, sacrificing a another bishop, followed by bishop takes, then rook takes h5, it is a killer move, bishop can't take it because it's pinned, and every pieces of black is worthless, they can't prevent checkmate, so after queen takes check, here, checkmate, game will be over, so, back to the position, if you think g5, let me show the variation, try to trap the bishop. The bishop is like, he get into the bathroom and someone locked his door from outside of the washroom, so, bishop takes pawn, pawn takes, knight takes check, king backs, queen here to checkmate you, so, f5, takes, takes, rook takes, and alpha can manage this position somehow, he will play queen here, rook battery, h6 to pressuring on this, so, in this position. Magnus played queen b6, try to exchange the queens, alpha moved back his queen. He pushed a pawn, takes, knight takes, knight takes, queen takes d4, rook comes here to d4 to use the d-file, queen backs, rook up to d6, alpha can play rook c1, then the position will be equal, b5 by Magnus, but it's a wrong move, best was to move back your queen, what is the difference between these moves, that's a very tough questions to understand, not for human level chess, so, here I played rook to d1, creating pressure on this knight, queen back to c7, queen to d2, in this position, best move is to play g5, let me show the variation, if it happen then bishop backs knight takes e5, rook takes, it's not rook takes rook, it's queen b7 check, ok king back to f1, queen check, here, check, here, check, and the game will be a draw, ha, huh? but, in our game, Magnus missed g5, he played bishop takes g5, he still have a chance to make the game draw, but he have to play correctly, I think he thought that I will take the knight. For an example, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, bishop takes f4, you shouldn't take the queen otherwise bishop will take back it, so after pawn takes, it's not queen takes queen, 
its queen takes pawn, and the position is in black favor, because the white's king position is very bad, while black have a well-protected position surrounded by his pawns, and he have some extra pawns, so, back to the position, alpha played best move, bishop takes e5, it's not knight takes bishop, it's queen b7 check, king h3. Knight takes bishop, pawn takes check, best move is to take the pawn with your king, but Magnus played pawn takes g6, weakening the 7th rank for the king, which is very bad, after rook takes rook, and rook to f5, alpha played rook to h8, brilliant rook sacrifice, if you take the rook, let me show you, if king takes h8 happen, the queen takes check, king g8, rook to d8 check, killer move, king can't go there, because of mate in 1, and rook can't block it, because of rook takes rook, and it will be checkmate, so. In this position, if you still think, king takes rook, then queen takes check, what about queen to h7? Queen h7 blocks it, but, there is rook d8 check, rook backs, then check and mate, it will be worst checkmate, so, back to the position, we have king to g7, queen takes check, king f6, queen check, g5, queen check, knight blocks, rook to f8 check, king here, rook e1 check, king d4, rook takes f5, and here, Magnus Carlsen resigned the game, I played from this position, let's see the checkmate pattern, I played g4 check, king h2, pawn takes rook, queen to e3 check, king slides, rook c1 check, king d5, rook check, king c6, queen check, king c5, queen check, king to c4, rook c1 check, and mate, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.